You're about to watch an educational video about a disturbing subject, how you should respond in an active shooter situation. An active shooter is an individual shooting at people, usually at random, in a populated area. The likelihood you will encounter this type of situation is extremely remote. However, we think it could benefit you no matter what risks you may face. We encourage you to think through various emergency scenarios and ask yourself, what would I do in that situation? Media coverage of active shooters anywhere in the world causes anxiety. Many people just want to know what to do should this happen to them. As unlikely as it is, it could happen, whether on campus or anywhere else you travel in your lifetime. Please take a few minutes to watch the video. Listen for the messages of get out, hide, and fight as a last resort. One day, it could save your life. There are many partners who work together to make your campus safe. The likelihood of an active shooter occurrence on your campus is extremely remote. However, when the unthinkable happens, it's essential to be prepared to act, just like you would in a fire. Every second counts. What's going on here, Dad? Not sure if that's gunfire. What, that? I don't know. what else is happening? Check for crowd reactions, shouts, screams. Trust your intuition. If it sounds like it could be a gun, react as though it is. Planning could save your life. Be familiar with your environment. Knowing your options ahead of time means you can act with a clear mind when fear and adrenaline kick in. Scan and assess your situation. Consider your options. Act. Active shooter situations are unpredictable and evolve quickly. You will need to react fast. If you believe you can escape safely, do so immediately. When you are safe, call 911. There's a shooter on campus. People coming out. Where's the shooter? I think he's in the library. Okay, get behind our truck. Follow the directions of police. Choose a safe exit. Don't attract the shooter's attention. Protect yourself first before helping others. Find a secure room or space. Shut the lights. Turn off the lights. Everybody Cover get windows. Out the get out of the line of fire. Lock the door and barricade it if you can. Someone's shooting. We're going to lock down. We're going to be safe. Don't worry. Improvise. Stay out of the line of fire. Get under desks or behind tables. Mute your phone. Be quiet. 
wait for police to come to you. Hey, you run slow, it's your phones. Turn off the lights, lock and barricade doors, stay out of the line of fire, be quiet. Please remember, we're not going to be in this When you can't get out or hide, your last resort may be to fight. You, turn off the lights. Wait, get under the desk. Everybody. Whether you are alone or with a group, be ready to fight for your life. Commit to aggressive action. Mentally prepare yourself to physically fight. It would be a fight for your life. It's your decision. <laughs> Disarm and incapacitate the shooter any way you can. Keep him down. Improvise weapons from nearby objects. Commit to an aggressive physical attack. Stop the threat. If you are safe in your hiding place, stay there and let police come to you. It's the police service. Announce your presence. Remember, the primary duty of police is to stop the shooter and then tend to casualties. Okay. What we need you to do now is just follow our direction. Everything's going to be okay. We're going to get you to exit the room nice and slowly, one at a time with your hands. Do whatever you can to get through this. Odds are you will never face the unthinkable. But if you do, keep the odds in your favor. Okay, you next. Planning can save your life. Having options empowers you and helps control your fear. Be familiar with your environment. Assess your situation. Make a decision and act. Get out, hide, fight. We're okay. We're all okay.